Hey there gamers, welcome back to Banished Souls Cryptic Gaming here. I hope you've been having a wonderful week and I hope you have been enjoying Season 2 as much as we have here. So, great news today. Uh, we ended up hearing from Ubisoft and we've been accepted into their partnership program, which is pretty cool. Uh, it has something to do with uh, content creating and also we're going to be looking more into that here in the future days ahead. Uh, so it's really cool to see the community be able to get that kind of feedback. So, uh, there has been some questions I wanted to answer in the video here so obviously a few things with the helm have changed we're going to talk about that real quick while we are over here at the helm and we're going to discuss what books you want to upgrade but I also want to show you how to do your ship building and what you're going to need to make that happen so you will see here that you have this little red hammer mark this is where there was a failed attempt at a defense on this level 10 factory now we've had some that we have actually pulled together as a team we've been trying to help defend these these territories with everybody and uh, been doing a pretty good job of that so that seems to work seems like right now around three or four people with you is what the number is you can do it with two but you're really going to need your ships upgraded to around that level five mark for that to happen so uh, right now you're looking at needing about three or four guys to roll with you if you have a defense if you play with a team not really a big deal because you're usually all in a server anyway so that's pretty cool so now when you are looking at this upgrade list when you come in your smuggler operation should be sitting wherever it was that you left it last season if you had that all the way maxed out to 24 like we did it should be at 24 ours was so uh, then we brought up our smuggler skills which has to do with uh, your, your ships that you sink, enemy takeovers, uh, has to do with helm wagers and anything within the helm that you're going to be dealing with contracts and stuff like that. Then, of course, Red Isle relations. That is for the Red Isle, so focused on that. Got that completed. And then, of course, our Ad Empire Administration. We've got that up to level 25. That was one of those great things where we had those 300... Thousand pieces eight to be able to get that stuff back up into position now We can bring these up as we expand into other areas. So not a real big deal You will see that I'm using basically the technique that I used originally you start capturing your areas You want to bring them up bring you up about five to level ten. Looks like we've got Exactly five here at level ten then we've got a six a five and a six So these kind of come in randomly whenever you're running those takeovers or the uh, legendary heist events you just kind of randomly get whatever's there so not a bad thing so it's going to kind of spread you out because you do have the areas open if you open up Africa and you opened up Indies those are going to be open to you now anytime you see this event here this little hand that is a buyout you can go to the location speak to the uh, person on the island they're usually deeper into the island not usually right on the shore they're going to tell you what exactly is required and you may have those products in your warehouse to just grab that real quick and buy your buy it out so that may end up putting you who knows where you know as far as you know wh what position it is it should tell you what that island is going to be but there is no way to fix this uh, once it's damaged you have to wait for the full time so it looks like there's an hour here so it's coming along you know one more hour and it should be ready to rock and roll you're not going to be able to collect any eights that it had in it half of them will be gone whenever it, you lose a defense so that's what you're looking at with the changes there. Then, of course, uh, everything should be still the same with your distilleries. Everything is pretty much the same with the order registry. And, of course, your supply network. If you're coming into your supply network and you're not seeing your attacks, which would be such as... Uh, could be some, some forts. It could be some of these rogues is typically what you want to see. Picking up that stuff. And then, of course coming over here to deliver your products and, and things like that you may see some slight differences there that's not too bad of a deal now I do want to go over how to upgrade your factories I know that seems to be kind of a you know a point where I know it stumped me to begin with it's changed a little bit so when you come up you're going to see where you manage a manufacturing if you're using the Xbox you're going to use the A button if you use the PlayStation it's going to be the X button to open this up you're going to be able to see what you can fund and to actually upgrade, you're going to tab over using your right trigger or R2 if you're on the uh, PlayStation. If you're up above level 4 and you have 5 factories, you're going to be able to be attacked, but you can also assign ships. But they have to be 4 and up on those levels to be able to send ships to collect your 8s. 
And of course, the upgrading of the factory is taking place under Upgrade Factory, and it's the same thing. You just use your H to bring those up. So I hope that that kind of helps you out a little bit there with that. That seems to be... I know when I first got in here, I'm like, man, what, how do I upgrade this thing? So definitely want to make sure we put a video out on that. Now, when it comes to your ships, some things that you're going to remember probably if you were some of those guys that had up in the millions of eights that you'd saved up and we had to buy those black market items a lot of us ended up buying stuff that had the uh, wood tar and of course the uh, sand and all that kind of stuff you're going to be bringing those over to the refinery here to get those refined but you want to find exactly how much that you need to refine you're going to come up here speak to this ship right go to upgrade ships and just like you would track a blueprint, if you want to continue to say we're upgrading the sand buck here, so we've got it right at level 5, we just need to get, looks like, eh, less than 20 more of the uh, dry casting sand, so not a real big deal. We're going to continue to pick that stuff up around Africa, hitting some of those plunder points to grab those uh, sand pits that you got to refine in. It's going to be casting sand, then it turns into dry casting sand, so just kind of a refinery process there and then of course you have the uh, orca mechanisms and things like that that come into play when you're when you're upgrading in there uh, we do have a bark that we've also been working on what I would recommend after having done this a couple times or, or you know started bouncing around with ships pick a ship stick with it uh, probably wait get the brig bring it up see what that thing's going to be because it sounds like it's probably going to be a really awesome ship just from what we've been kind of looking at and stuff so some really cool stuff but you can see like you have the lacquer that you need 30 that's going to be something that you get with varnish and then you refine it into lacquer okay again the dry casting sand uh, you see you need rubber uh, and things like that you're going to need to upgrade parts where do you find those upgrade parts you may be wondering if you didn't get a lot in the past because you didn't have a lot of factories don't worry what you're going to end up doing is you want to come over here to your bounty board and look at these bounties so you will have some uh, Hubok twin bounties up here and it's going to have a reward of parts those parts that you need now you can see these are the basic bounties that we've done in the past uh, but you will have those bounties and that'll be rewards for it you also are going to get rewards for that in the pass as you progress into the smuggler pass here guys it's going to be let's hit this left joystick now down in the basic pass you're going to get those uh, we're right here near having the brig which is awesome can't wait to get that it looks like a nice ship so be, be pretty cool to see how it works out so you're going to end up getting helm leases in here you're going to end up getting uh you know parts and stuff as you see we end up getting like 10 parts whenever we completed that uh re 10 rewards redeemed type deal and stuff like that then you're going to pick them up in ship masters gunner master and quarter master as well so that's where you're going to be picking a lot of that stuff up now you can also pick them up from rema and from Skurlock, they are very expensive, you're looking about 2,000 uh, skull products, the, the gold skull products, your top tier refined products, tip I1. Or what you can do is come over here to the oubliette, like we're going to do right now to show you what we've got here. And when you come here, you want to go talk to the man that you pick up the uh, the original man Godin contract that you return those uh, man Godin rings and things like that into to complete the contract, this gentleman right here when you come to the mysterious rogue you go to buy sell and you're going to be able to buy now this is resets every hour it seems like so you're going to come in just buy the upgrade part put it in the cargo and you're good to go and you can do that every hour come in and buy one that is that uh, vengeful essence I think is what this stuff is called that it buys for you get it from the roadman go and if you remember we were opening a lot of that stuff up up there that's where that's going to help you out. You're going to be able to pick those up. That's going to help. But they do give you plenty throughout the throughout the uh, game. When you're running these boss missions and stuff, uh, any of the world events that you see pop up, a lot of those will actually show you where you can get those parts as well. They're not too bad to run right now. Uh, I would definitely recommend running it with friends if you can. But you can run them solo. But uh, it's going to be rough until you start getting that ship leveled up some. Because they haven't really brought those scale levels down a whole lot they have just enough but you're going to want to upgrade so definitely definitely make sure you upgrade so that is how you're going to do that and we're going to show you one more time over here at the St. Anne let's get over here real quick
once you have all the items that you need to upgrade and you go to this ship right all you're going to have to do is pick the ship that you're wanting to upgrade make sure you name it something that you're going to know what it is because you don't want to upgrade the wrong stuff uh, but typically you're going to know what ship you're messing with anyway i mean we've been playing it long enough where we we kind of know what we're doing when we're changing ships out so uh, you want to make sure that you come to upgrade ship then you're going to go to the ship that you want to upgrade and you you would just take if you have everything that you need you're going to hold on the xbox you're going to hold the a button on the playstation you would hold the x button how that correlates to a computer i do not know that's something that you will have to you know figure out on what you're doing in the game but basically it is your activate whatever your action key is you know that's what you're going to be using for that so that's where we're at right now guys i hope you've enjoyed the content uh we've been doing a lot of stuff trying to grind this pass out trying to uh follow along with the storylines i i do want to show you if you come up here to blackwood if you remember season one he basically had like maybe one mission on occasion he'd give you maybe every couple weeks so he gives you quite a few missions and then you're going to hit a point where you can't really get further with that you need to come over to you need over here in the uh, black market and she's going to continue the mission lines here at the black market as well if you're looking and you don't see some of the missions which are basic missions that aren't really tied to the story don't worry about it you'll we'll see if we can see some up they usually have some that come up where you can just gather some mates up by running and doing some stuff of course we have the overture of havoc you'll notice that this is the green helm so this is a privateer hunt that's going to be a basic mission she can give you and then the Overture of Havoc, you see we have the Gold Star. Those are main missions. So this is going to be one of the next things that we need to do to complete what her past missions are. And you want to make sure that you're running these. One, they're, they're really eventful. You're going to get a lot of materials and stuff by, by uh, going in and facing these bosses that she assigns and all. But it's also going to help you with your points inside the system here. So that's going to be really great too. So, But y'all have a wonderful day. We will talk to you later.